Hello, this is John at JJNA. Got a couple of things on our consignment surplus aisle. First thing we're going to show you today is back in Vietnam during World War, uh, not World War II, but back in Vietnam, uh, the aviators used 38 pistols. And if they got in trouble, they had cartridges that they can fire and it would fire flare up. So they had their, their regular 38 rounds, but they also had these flare rounds that would go into a 38 pistol. They carried them in a bag like this and they would fire this round and it would signal where they were and the help will come. We have some of these that, uh, that are in our surplus. So if you're interested in something like that, if you're a curio collector and are looking for something like that, we have it in the store. And then we have this uh, Ruger. Um, uh, this is a 22 caliber, very popular handgun. Uh, they're like the Mark IVs. This is a four inch barrel one though. So we have this one as well. So if you're interested in plinking around with the 22, then we have one of the most sought after ones, sought after 22s that are out there. If you're looking for uh, a 30 out 6, here is a Winchester 30 out 6. It comes with the uh, optic already attached on, on the top. You might want to change it out though, but this has um, the old uh, bolt action that most people like. It's kind of like the A303. So if, if that's something that you're looking for, there it is right there. Pretty nice rifle in our surplus area on consignment. Check it out. And then if you are a curio collector, this is an old 22. This is one that they had, I mean, one of the first 22s that came out when they used to allow kids to have little guns. Well, this is one of those single shot 22s. It, it is missing the little um, forearm here, but if someone wanted to put that on, or we can even put one on there. But the way this little action works here, there's a little deal here that you would uh, cock the hammer back and you would pull this back to actually load the round in here. And then you would close it and then you would fire the gun. Or if it was half cocked, you wouldn't be able to, to fire it. That was the safety on it. But it's pretty neat, you know, how this thing worked back in the day. But again, this is an old collectible. Most people probably wouldn't actually fire it. They might just get it to keep it. But those are some of the things that we have. So that is for our surplus area today. We're going to uh, come back in the next video and we're going to show you the comparison between the Glock 19, which is a very good popular carry weapon. And it's also a good uh, home defense weapon, truck gun, whatever people want to use it for compared to the Glock 43X. So click like and subscribe. Watch our videos that are coming up. Don't miss the training. Don't miss the announcements for the training and the other opportunities that you'll have. Thanks.